Glaucoma can lead to blindness, but it doesn't have to. And back to show us how we can save our eyesight is Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, we should start by saying that if glaucoma is diagnosed and treated early, it can usually be controlled. Now, glaucoma is often caused by an increase in eye pressure. And it's important for people to know, though, that it doesn't have to have increased eye pressure. A person can have glaucoma even with normal or even low eye pressure. And this is important because there are usually few or no symptoms with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. However, one sign is loss of peripheral or your side vision, which can go unnoticed until late in the disease. Loss of vision, it actually occurs primarily because the optic nerve, which sits in the back of the eye, it becomes damaged. This optic nerve is what transmits images to your brain. And you know, glaucoma tends to run in families, so it is particularly important to know a family medical history here. There are some other things that can increase the risk, like being over 40 years old, having poor vision, diabetes, or having trauma to the eye. And in African Americans and Hispanics, glaucoma occurs more often, earlier, and with more damage to vision. Glaucoma can occur in anyone, which is why it's important to have regular eye exams. Absolutely it is. And you know, I wanted everyone to know how simple it is to get checked for glaucoma. So I made an appointment to have an eye exam. Well, let's have a look at that exam. Hi, Frida. Come on in for your eye exam. Hi, Dr. Varma. Thank you so much for fitting me in. Come on in. I'm so glad you're here to get your eyes examined for glaucoma. First I'm going to use some eye drops in your eyes to get them numb. So you don't blink or flinch. Here we go. Frida, now we're going to get your eye pressure measured. If you will, come on in, put your chin in and forehead against the bar. I'm going to use this tonometer, which has a prism on it to measure your eye pressure. So if you'll just hold still and not blink, that would be great. Here we go. Perfect. Sit back, roll down. Well, that was easy. Frida, now we're going to test your peripheral vision or your side vision. I'm going to give you a clicker in your hand. So whenever you see a flash of light, if you'll push the button. Here we go. Okay, I think we're all done. So if you would come on out, and what we're gonna do now is go and examine your optic nerve. Okay, great. This lamp allows me to see a larger view of your optic nerve. Looks good. Thank you, and that was easy. So important to get your eyes examined. Dr. Frida, thank you for doing that for us. Oh, my pleasure. And you know, I had to multitask while I was there. I needed a new pair of glasses, so I figured maybe you could help me. I, I see you brought choose. some. <laughs> so so have you not chosen just, yet? Just, I haven't chosen. Okay, All right, so everyone, help me out here. We're what gonna, about these? Oh, I like. Let's go with it. Now, <laughs> hey, one benefit of getting your eyes examined, you can come out with some really cool looking glasses, stylish, but you know, here's the deal. Eye exams are so important to find out if you have glaucoma because early diagnosis and then treatment may prevent that long-term vision loss we were talking about. You know, and a lot of people don't think about eyes when they think about health, so it's really important to talk to your healthcare team so that you can include eye exams as a part of your wellness plan. And of course, for more information, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com, learn more about glaucoma. And also, you can head to the doctorstv.com and uh, yeah, you do those. what do you think, huh? Shall we? Okay, so cool. Yeah? So cool. All yeah. right. Okay. I'm See, getting, getting your eyes examined isn't so bad after all. Here's another look. Ooh, okay. I, like, I like them We're all. In. We'll be right back.